Greetings everybody and welcome to Wager Talk TV with another free play in the League's Cup that starts on Friday. Uh, this free play is for Saturday in a match between Puebla and Inter Miami. Uh, I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below, let me know if you like or dislike our plays or how you're going to attack this match. Um, I'm number one in soccer in the last 30 days with plus 44 units, 8-1 and one run in Asian spread bets, 27-13 and 13 uh, in 4% Asian spread bets, and 7-2 run in 4% Asian totals. Uh, last season, we made plus 79 units in the League's Cup on a 70% win rate in all our plays, 23 and 10. And we have a nice promo for you guys to get 30 days of soccer for just 129 using code SOC30 to knock $50 off that price. And we have three 4% League's, uh, League's Cup best bets for the weekend. So head over at my page to uh, wt.bus.pl and you'll find all my free plays, all my promos, and all my streaks. Now onwards to our free play. Uh, again, Puebla versus Inter Miami, League's Cup on Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, Puebla are listed as the hosts in this match, but uh, much like all the other matches in the MLS, uh, it's actually Inter Miami who are the actual hosts as the match is played at the Chase Stadium in Fort, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida. So Puebla are plus 420 underdogs. The draw is at plus 350. And Inter Miami are minus 180 favorites with the Asian spread set at 1%. And the Asian total set at three goals. Now, Puebla, they were uh, the worst team in the Liga MX Clausura that finished uh, back in April. Um, they finished dead last in the standings with one win, two draws, and 14 losses. They scored just 18 goals in 17 matches, which was the second worst defense in the league, uh, the second worst offense in the league. And they also conceded 43 goals, which was by far the worst defense in the league. And they also had the worst goal difference with minus 25. Now, they lost all eight matches on the road. Um, they conceded. Um, 24 goals in the process, and they have now lost nine consecutive away matches, and eight of those losses came combined with over two and a half goals. Now, they did score in each of the last five away matches, but considered two plus goals in all five, and they actually considered three plus goals in each of the last four away matches, and in eight of the last ten, so they just have a terrible, terrible difference. They did change their coach, they did bring some uh, reinforcements, and they've been mediocre in four uh, competitive matches in the new edition of the Liga MX Apertura. They have one win, one draw, and two losses. Um, they only um, they lost their only away match by 4-1, to one, but they did score in all four matches so far. Um, last season in the League's Cup, they did a really poor job. Uh, they managed to lose 4-0 to a 10-man Minnesota United team, and they struggled to beat Chicago in the penalty shootout, so they didn't even make it out of the group stage. And now they're facing the team that won that trophy. Now, Inter Miami, right off the bat, they're going to be missing uh, Lionel Messi, who suffered a gruesome injury uh, in the uh, Copa America final. Uh, they also be missing, they're, they're going to be missing Gomez and Cremasi, who are away on international duty in the Olympics. Uh, and um, Suarez and Krivtsov, they're questionable to participate. Suarez has arthritis. Yes, he's that old. Uh, he was taking uh, off the, um, the All-Star game, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be involved in some way, shape, or form in this match. Not sure if he's going to start, um, but yeah, I think he's going to at least be in the bench. And after all, Inter Miami, they learned to live life without uh, several of their players. Uh, they're on a, uh, they won six of the last seven, actually. They scored two plus goals in all six wins, uh, while all seven matches had both teams to score and over two and a half goals. In fact, each of the last 10 matches had both teams to score and over two and a half goals and 18 of the last 20. Uh, so six of the last seven wins came by the exact same 2-1 uh, correct score, which is at plus 600 and definitely worth a sprinkle here. Now, I wouldn't rush to bet on Miami minus one here uh, until we find out if Suarez is going to play. If he does play, Inter-Miami minus one looks good. Inter-Miami win and over one and a half goals at minus 135 looks good. Even Inter-Miami win and over two and a half goals at even money looks good. But even without him, this, this should be a goal fest. Um, Inter-Miami's numbers, they speak for, for, for themselves. Uh, 18 of the last 20 matches, again, they had both in the score and over two and a half goals, and uh, they were missing both Messi and Suarez in each of the last eight. So they can score multiple goals even without their two uh, best players. So take a same game parlay with both teams to score and over two and a half goals at minus 120. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you like this play or how you're going to attack this. And uh, good luck with your bets.